first things first, I'm going to disconnect the battery because if I touch any tools up under there, I don't know what's energized and what's not or grounded out. And I don't want to mess with my computer. So I'm going to disconnect the ground. Okay, so I got a line wrench down there. It's a cheap line wrench. As you can see, I'm underneath the standstill line from underneath. And um, something crazy. Look, I just put it on there. It's already loose. I don't know. Maybe it's been like that for a while, but I don't know. Alright, so, I mean, it was finger tight. Maybe that's what it might be for. For the EGR, maybe that's what I heard all that or pressing on the throttle, but it was loose already. I just unbolt it by hand. Come on, darling. Maybe I could swing it out the way. I don't know. Let's see if I get lucky. Man, it should be out. Oh. Okay, I could just swing that out the way there. So, I used a vice grip on that pipe. It's a big vice grip. I tried a box and wrench. So I used a vice grip. I just shocked it and tapped it. Because remember, it is an exhaust line, so it's corroded in there. Shocked the crap out of it. I didn't want to damage my threads on my adjustment. And for better measure, I put the same wrench that I try to use and just hit the top of it and shock it. It, it, it unloosens and tightens the same way you would expect a regular screw to come out. I think it's a counterclockwise is loosened. Just double check, but hit it and now soon as you crack it it should be free should be no binding and no tension the same thing for when you go to put this line back on next up take off the hose just disconnect it let it hang it goes around to the other side of the diaphragm of the EGR so the next thing that you want to do Concerning EGR, let's say, okay, you took apart the line, right? You took apart the line. Now, all you have holding that EGR valve in is two 12s. And they might have washers, they might not. But when you take off this EGR, look for a gasket that's on these threads that go behind the EGR where it bolts up to its EGR system because there is a hole on the next side too. And boy. So yeah. One bolt loose. I remember there's a gasket behind this because that'll first. So, I, I, there's no way to really push that line off. It's just disconnect, pull it back, and then you gotta like shake this thing around. Cause remember, it's like seized up on there. You gotta like use tension and wiggle it up, wiggle it down, and then you should be able to pull shit off. EGR solenoid for fourth gen Nissan Axma. Hooray. Yeah, no, it's not really a hard job at all. Just take off the end of the gasket. Basically, they said 
to spray your solenoid with carb cleaner right there. And let's see. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of every hole on this EGR solenoid had caked up crud. That was just around the border. So I just got it soaking. I sprayed it in here. Yeah, shut up. Try to let it pool up so I can sit. Put it in here. A lot of, a lot of crust. I used a, uh, I sprayed across here, across it. But they say you're not supposed to spray up there because like a filter, like mesh. It's a diaphragm that will mess up how it operates. Maybe seepage. I don't know. I'm gonna let it dry out. But I did wrap the uh, screwdriver in hand sanitizer or something to try and like brush past where yeah to brush past it Okay, so basically I had to take those two bolts back off until I dealt with that hard exhaust line right there. Do that first because everything was free and wiggling and, you know, you could use both hands up under there, prop both ends up and, you know, push them together. If that bolts up ev evenly, like it screws on the threads easily, you're good as golden. It's a screw all the way on, no binding Unless that's the way you took yours off. But the same way you took it off, the same way you put it back on. Nothing binding, nothing cross-threading. If it, it's catching a little too harsh, stop, take it off, try again. And after that, put the stainless steel line that goes back in the front, tighten it, and you should be good.